Today we're going from Sao Paulo, Brazil all the way to Miami, Florida on American Airlines flagship business. We're going to be sitting right here on 9L. The configuration on this Boeing 777 is 1, 2, 1. Now let's take a look at some of the features on the seat and amenities. Right here on the scene we got some seat controls we'll be taking a look at later. We got a small storage compartment here with outlets and the little remote for the uh, entertainment system. It's a pretty decent size if I'm going to be honest. And then got the headphones here and some more amenities here which we'll check out later. And there's another storage compartment back here which is pretty small. I didn't end up using it at all. And then taking a look at the menu here we got some beef short rib, rosemary chicken. And as you can see here there's a pretty decent selection of beverages as well. The IFE is pretty good with a good selection of movies and everything and this little remote control I had a difficult time with. I ended up calling the uh, flight attendant over a couple times because I didn't know how to mess with it but that's on me. And my legs stretch pretty good while sitting down. Pretty comfortable but once I lay down it wasn't as comfortable. Here's another look at the seat controls here where you could just move the leg rest up and down. It's all touch screen. A little not that great uh, response but it was pretty good. Then you got to control your lights here and call the flight attendant on it as well. And uh, the headphones were pretty freaking good. I, I thought they were the same as the ones they offer in premium economy on this flight, but they are not. These are so much better and do an amazing job at noise canceling. And unfortunately, you cannot take this home. They do collect it at the end of the flight. Now, let's take a look at our in-flight amenities kit. It comes in this nice leather pouch that has the uh, American Airlines flagship logo on it. It does come with an eye mask, some really comfy socks, and a toothbrush with some toothpaste as you can see here. And it also comes with some uh, lip balm, some pretty good lotion, a small pen, and earplugs. This little doodad here, you press and you can lift up your armrest, making it a little bit more cozy on your seat, to be honest with you. I kept this up the entire time and it wasn't uncomfortable at all. The ambient light was pretty nice, but they kept it like this during food service and it was a bit annoying because I couldn't really see my food even with my seat light on, but it was it was okay. I would have preferred it a little bit brighter in there, but so apparently I accidentally had ordered a special meal, so I was not able to get the uh, short rib or the ravioli, so I ended up with this chicken, broccoli, and like I don't know what it was exactly, but there was chicken, there was broccoli, and there was some fried vegetables, and a really soggy spinach that wasn't that great. It also came with a small salad and a little appetizer that had some cheese and like cold cut turkey in it and stuff with some tomatoes, which wasn't actually that bad. And then there was this extremely dry bread here, which, oh my god. Why? It just fell apart in my hand. Let's not forget our ginger ale, of course. The uh, fruit salad included with the plate was probably the best part of this entire meal. The dessert was spectacular. A really good portion of vanilla ice cream with some salted caramel syrup on top, which, man, after that very mediocre and depressing meal, this dessert was well worth the wait. The lavatory was a huge disappointment as you can see here. I'm um, six foot three and it's pretty, it's a normal sized lavatory to be honest with you. Nothing really special about it and nothing really interesting in here for business class passengers. It was then time to go back to my seat and lay the seat completely down flat and try and get a good night's rest as I have a difficult time falling asleep on airplanes. The space is good and everything, I fit perfectly fine but the problem is I like to sleep on my side and trying to turn to the side is quite uncomfortable and yeah. But aside from that, it was pretty decent. And the flight offers a wonderful pillow and blanket as well. And just like dinner the night before, breakfast wasn't all that great as I made the mistake to order a special meal and I couldn't get anything else but maybe on other flights if I ask again I'll probably get a different meal but yeah really bad eggs with some weird stuff inside and extremely unflavorful but aside from that the flight was great and I had a really good time on my flight from Sao Paulo to Miami 
I believe the flight from Sao Paulo to Miami is within the $2,000 range, but if you use points, you could get it for way less, and it's what I did. And if you guys would like to know how I get these flights for free or extremely cheap, just let me know down in the comments below, and I'll create a video explaining all that as well. Thanks for watching.